Hi, Joe Hood here with a video for our CS Imaging users. Have you ever wished that you could mount the JPEG x-rays that you get from another office when you acquire a new patient? Well, there's a format in your software that allows you to do just that. I'm going to go through the steps on how to do it. First thing I suggest you do is to create a folder, just a temporary folder with the first initial last name of the patient, just so you know exactly where the x-rays will be. Here's a full mouse series worth of x-rays that I simulated. These are all JPEGs. So this is simulating, downloading them from an email. Next thing you do is open the imaging software for that patient. This is John Sample. And you're going to go to File, Import Image File. And then you're going to browse to that folder. And here's a tip. You can select them all at the same time and import them at once. So you make sure you're at the top of the list left click on the first image, hold your shift key down, scroll to the bottom and left click on the last image. That'll select them all. And when you hit open, it's going to pull them all in at the same time. Once it's finished importing all the images, we're going to come up here to the window menu and we're going to choose rearrange screen. Now you notice that it shifted them all around so that they're not overlapping at all. The next thing we're going to do is come up here to your user format icon and when you scroll all the way to the bottom you'll notice a third-party JPEG FMS. Double click on that. This is a full mouse series format but it's designed to hold JPEG images rather than radiographs. So this format is open and all of those images are open behind it. So the next step we're going to do is click on this icon to reduce the size that the format is displayed at. Then we're going to hover over the corner of the border and left click and hold and we're going to reduce the size even more so that we can drag it down here in the bottom where there are no images. Now what we're going to do is one at a time we're going to drag each image into the format. And there's a tip you need to keep in mind. Whichever position is highlighted in here, in this case it's number one, when I left click and drag and drop an image anywhere inside of this border, wherever I let go of it, it's going to go into the highlighted position. So you want to make sure that you grab the proper image that's going to go into the highlighted. So here we go, we're going to drag and drop, and even if I drag and drop it here, it's going to drop in there. Click on the next position, and then we're going to go up and grab the image that needs to go in there, right, and so on. And there we go, we have them all inside of the mount now. And the next step we're going to do now is to click on this save icon and when you have this window open you have a chance to change the date from the current date that you're importing these images to whatever date the images were acquired on. So let's say they were acquired on, uh, you know, January, a few months previous. You can select that date, and in this field, you can add a clinical note acquired at Dr. Smith's office. Click Save or click OK, and now it's saved in the image history. Now what we can do is close out of this, come to our image history, there's that format that we just acquired, and when you hover over it, you'll notice that that note pops up that I entered, and in the bottom right corner is the date that I have manually entered. So that's how you can mount JPEG radiographs from another office. Hope you found that helpful.